Paradox number four. We usually perceive the poor nations, the poorer nations, on, on, uh, in comparison with, for instance, with Western Europe, because it's usually our source of, of contrast, for contrast. Uh, we usually perceive the poorer nations, like Russia, for instance, or Ukraine, or, 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 or Bul Bulgaria, or uh, how it's called, the, the country of Bulgarians, how it is, Bul Bulgari, I don't know. So we perceive those countries as uh, somehow men's countries, because we usually perceive that if the country is poor, usually the economy is not very um, sophisticated. So probably we also assume that the that the men's uh, strength, physical strength, which is bigger, greater than the strength of average woman, is much needed and it's giving some advantage in these uh, conditions. And we also say it about we we say it about the for instance Muslim countries which are very men oriented because um, women are in many of them uh, in most of them perceived as a second class citizens. But uh, we also tend to perceive the countries like Ukraine or Russia in this way, although we know from historic from historical studies that it was always so that in every village and a small town usually what the oldest woman was thinking was more important than what the what the priest was thinking so and the and so even in the countries which are very woman countries culturally we tend to think that they cannot be really women's countries if they are poor or relatively poor because everything is poor or wealthy only in comparison with something else.